yesterday, President Juncker gave an interview to the BBC on, and it was a day on which it was uh, well flagged beforehand that the Labour Party would be announcing their plans for Brexit. He chose this day, and so met, met the headlines in the UK to say that he considered Labour's election promises to renegotiate the Brexit withdrawal agreement as unrealistic. Um, we've been told repeatedly in this room that the withdrawal agreement couldn't be amended until we saw that it was when the UK's red lines changed. What uh, Jeremy Corbyn has put forward is again a plan to change the red lines and to more closely align the UK with the EU. Um, so again, I presume that the withdrawal agreement could be reopened. So why is President Juncker dancing to Boris Johnson's tune? Obviously, he was not directly commenting on any party's plans. Secondly, I'm not aware that we have amended the withdrawal agreement. We have certainly made clarifications, but not amended. You have a European Council conclusions that excludes uh, the reopening of uh, the withdrawal <coughs> agreement. That was the very basis on which the ex latest extension was granted. And thirdly, I appreciate that you think we are so strategic in uh, giving interviews, aligning them to uh, the electoral campaign in the UK, but this interview had been scheduled for quite some time already. Follow-up, yes, Catherine? No, it's follow-up. Yeah, I'm sorry, but you did reopen the withdrawal agreement. You did make changes. And um, the, the EU has repeatedly said that it wants a closer relationship with the UK as possible in the future. What is being put forward... Uh, by aligning the UK more closely with the single market, with the level playing field rules, and remaining in some way in a customs union with the EU, should be something that you actively uh, agree with, given your, your, your previous pronouncements. I totally understand your excitement, uh, given the excited debate in the United Kingdom, but I refer you to the European Council decision that was taken with the agreement of the United Kingdom on the 29th of October, which excludes any reopening of the withdrawal agreement. So whatever debate there might be now in the United Kingdom, I think uh, the current president of the European Commission has every right to say that he thinks it's unrealistic to reopen this withdrawal agreement, because this is what the European Council has unanimously decided with the agreement of the current Prime Minister. So this is where we are. Paddy, yes, follow up. Uh, this, is, um, uh, this is not a pedantic argument about, about the uh, uh, withdrawal agreement and whether it was reopened or not. It's, it's a fact that six paragraphs of the protocol uh, on, on, on Ireland were changed. It was amended. Uh, it was reopened. I, I don't believe it is possible for you to argue that this is mere clarification because the content is significantly different. About what is actually an amendment, if you do things uh, via protocol, if this is something that is amending the withdrawal argument or not. But what matters now is the latest European Council decision from the 29th of October, which excludes any further reopening of the withdrawal agreement that, have we, that we have spent negotiating for two years and um, on the basis of which we've granted an extension in order to have that very withdrawal agreement ratified. That was the purpose of the extension. And I can only refer you to the latest legal text. If now there is any other discussion going on out there, maybe you want to convene another European Council to have that discussion, but this is not a discussion that we're having right now. <laughs> 